All right, guys. So today, doing something a little bit different. Well, not really that different. Doing another showcase, but with a different character today. As you can see, we'll be taking Tyrese Halliburton into PvP. Now, I've been doing some games with him the last few games. As you can see, I went on a what, five, four or five game win streak. But I went on a massive losing streak using his character for the first time. Um, yeah, we got some wins there, but we just went on a crazy losing streak with teammates and missing shots. But you know, we just had uh, some good games a while ago. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna try and record it. So I guess like this is a good time when people are hopping on and playing and stuff. So yeah, as you can see here, like we have his um, his ability. He's a passing type, so he's giving his teammates like um, reduced shot contests and open field goal percentage. As you can see, that the the Skills that I have upgraded are mostly related to like stealing resistance and um, interception resistance or interception rate, like stuff like that. I was like, I'm not going to really upgrade those. So, yeah, I want to compare him to Steph here because like what I think, I think he's just a slightly better Steph. Because, like, look at that. He has like 11 better three pointer. He's a better mid range shooter. He's a better passer. Not as better um, defensively or rebounding wise, but he had because he has like the passing abilities and he also has like some of the badges that Steph has but at a higher level I was like okay this character is like he should be interesting his his jump shot he has a his own unique jump shot so when he's just wide open and you're standing still and you're taking a shot it's pretty slow but like you want to play with this character like how you play with Steph like look at the badges like he has the same badges and then better badges like especially this unlimited range he has that so the way that you see steph players and dame players play like he can do that so yeah i was just like looking at the character i was like this character seems interesting i was trying to find my new niche character that i can use outside of paul george and i found him so yeah so we're just going to be taking him to pvp and showing him off for you guys all right guys so hopping into the first game we have a tatum and beat on our team versus a kevin durant um zion and a gobert so as i've been saying before i've been seeing zion a little bit more hopefully this zion player is good because most of the time i don't really see a good one I'm gonna kick it back out try to pass it to the tatum there didn't get it to him i get it to him here wide open and he missed but yeah, um, so yeah, we have Kevin Durant on us, so we should be able to create some separation and get by. That's the first time I've seen that hero step dunk activate. Hmm, that's interesting. That's the first time I think I've seen that. Pass it here. Pass it to the Tatum. Pass it right here, right here, right here. I uh, missed me. Pass me right here. Too far, couldn't get a shot off. Try to break him down. Kick out. Right there, pass it. Ooh, should have passed it back there, but we're running out of time. He had to put something up. See what is this Zion player going to do. If he can um, activate that Euro dunk, um, not hot Euro dunk, uh, hop step, I think he's good then. He should be able to use the character. And we. Okay, he missed. Pass it here, wide open. That's a bucket. Yep. Like he's a like yeah he's a really good three point shooter. Okay, what's this go? Very gonna do, and we get the steal. He can shoot that. He's gonna make it. Yes, he is. And like he's a steal specialist. I think I showed off that ability, that um badge. He has like like rank four, so he can steal the ball quite well, and he has just like a seven hundred um steal rating. So not quite Drew Holiday, but. He's like he does a just a little bit of everything, just a little bit. Get by him, get the dunk there. Okay, so this is going pretty well so far. Our uh, Tatum player got froze there. You're not moving. Pass it here. Okay, you're not going anywhere. Oh, no steal right there. That's kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Big poster right there by the Zion. Okay, we're gonna do it. Move, pass out. Okay, he's gonna hit that. Yep. Tatum's like Tatum's like a really good player to have. He's a really good three-point shooter. Actually, can play some defense. 
and he has like good dunk packages. When you're driving, he has some good dunks. Okay, let's see here. Wide open. Okay, so so far they haven't really been, especially my Kevin Durant, like the, the person I'm guarding, like he hasn't been able to do anything. So I'm feeling proud in that he's not getting any open looks. He's passing up quite a bit. That's a terrible shot. I'm wide open. See, that's his. Okay, um, it froze a little bit, but was wide open. Still good release, and he made it. I don't know if you guys have been experiencing like laggy situations like that in game as well. Like, it's kind of wild sometimes. It's like I, I do not know what's happening. I don't know if it's my phone or it's just the game or something. No steal right there. Hmm. I mean, this is a good Zion player. This is probably like the best Zion player that I've come across. Actually, he knows how to get the the dunks off. Floater, no kick out, wide open. Move. What are you gonna do with it? He hit that. Actually, no, he didn't. He didn't. Steal. Oh, Ooh, block. Big block. He hits this, actually. He does. Yeah. Like, yeah, they forfeit. That was a great game. You're able to see, like, how good he is as a three-point shooter. You're able to see his steals. Like, he's a good passer, a sister. Like, we get MVP off that. Like, you're able to see just a little bit of everything. So, hopefully, in the next game, you're able to, I'm able to show him off just a little bit better as well. All right, guys, so this game right here, as you can see, like the loading, it's the first time that, well, not the first time this is, this has happened, but um, this is very, it's a very weird scenario where nothing is loading. Sometimes like I'm the only player that doesn't load and it just like kicks me out of the game or I have to reset the app to get back in the game or something. But yeah, this is very weird. I know what causes it. It's going to load and then it's going to like have like this weird speed boosting glitch thing like it's just like it's you're gonna see it that comes up i don't know if any developers or anything or anyone sees this or you can clip this part of the video and send it to them so they understand like or see this issue i don't know if it's like a big issue or it happens frequently but it, like as you can see like starts out really i do not know what i'm doing like it's moving pretty quickly i don't know if you guys can see that and then about right here is when it starts to move a bit normally like after that bucket then it starts to move back a little bit close to normal yeah it starts moving normally after that so i don't know if you guys like can send this to any developers or anything if any developer has seen that stuff like that happens to me quite a bit i don't know if it's my phone i'm using an xr um or maybe it's a server issue like i don't know but yeah, we ended up did lose this game. Like we started off, as you can see, pretty bad. Um and we were missing some shots here. So yeah, this was a bad game. Just gonna jump into the next game. I've just played another two games after this, but just wanted people to see like if you're having this issue, put it down in the comments or you can clip it and send it to someone that they can see this issue. So yeah, it's gonna hop into the next game after this one. All right, guys, hopping into the next game here. Uh, we also had that little loading issue where everyone was frozen, but it's, uh, it seemed to sort itself out a bit there, so we didn't have that glitch where we were already in the game. So, yeah, um, hopping into the next game, we're playing with the same Tatum player. So, I think including the game that just glitched out, this is like the third straight game that we've played with him. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting here. I'm um, going against a Donovan Mitchell, and as you can see, like in my, well, not in my last video, but the video before this where I stated that I, um, but I showed that I hit Hall of Fame. I was using I was using Donovan Mitchell, and I think he's a good card. I think he's a good unit. But my biggest issue was, as you're gonna see, like in this game, like a lot of the times when you're driving, like the contact animation wide open. By the way missed but we're gonna we're, we're hitting this one we're hitting this one 
yeah so yeah a lot of what you're gonna see in this game is like when you're driving if you can't if you play if you're playing with someone that can stay in front of um stay in front of you even just a little bit and cause like that to happen like it's just it's just way too annoying to deal with he's gonna make that no pass it out here got by him i did not want i wanted to float it i wanted to float it right there but yeah but that's the reason why i had to switch from using him and then on top of that like he doesn't have like good shooting um badge well he has some good shooting badges but his ratings are pretty low i think he has like a 600 and something mid-range and like a 700 and 16 or 13 three and it wasn't consistent the only time it could really be relied on is like wide open yeah so the only time it could really be relied on was in like the last 30 seconds when clutch shooter would be activated and you can rely on him hitting a three or a mid-range in that time span wide open I'm gonna get open here that's a good shot yep so as you can see this is like one of the good games like this is how i usually play when i'm playing off um off screen like i i'm glad i'm able to show this off like when i'm not really showcasing a character this is just me using a character that i've been using just for a little bit now um and i wanted to record some games like this i love i love just moving and passing and like that's how i normally play if you've played against me or played with me and i've played like anything outside of this i was probably like really frustrated or something or using a character for the first time or something but yeah they ended up forfeiting we were cooking them it's a really good game we get mvp again so like as i'm saying bro like this is a really good card i um, gonna play one more game. Hopefully we're able to show him off really good there. Um, let you guys see. I didn't get to like that guy's um, game, but yeah. Hopping into the next and final game. All right, so playing in the final game, we have um, the no -core, guy, no core guy on the opposing team this time. So this is like four straight games where I'm either playing with him or against him. Hopefully in this game, we're able to beat him. Um, yeah, so that's the outcome that we want. We want to end on a win here. Um, having a Giannis and a Paul George on our team against a Paul George, obviously a Tatum and an Embiid. So we don't have a normal rebounder, but Giannis should be able to do well enough here. Win the tip, no. Left him open. Well, yeah, it's hard to guard that now unless you continue. Like, if you're moving well with them, it's still so hard to guard, but it's much more common now that. Is he? Yeah, he's gonna get stolen. He's gonna hit that because I left him. Yeah. Yeah, but as I was saying with that, it's like it's much um, easier now to guard that. Can I get a floater? Yes, I can. Hmm. Okay, let's lock up PG here. Hopefully he's not able to do anything. And give him space. It was open. So what's the no core guard gonna do? Steal, okay. Nice steal there. Ooh, nice. Step back, hit that. Oh. That was a good shot though. That was a good shot. Okay, not gonna go anywhere, and that's another steal. Pass it here, I'm open. There you go. Yeah, he's gonna make that. Okay, let's lock up PG here. Not gonna do anything. Uh, slow, he's moving slow behind the screens and the bodies, but. Okay, so he gets a wide open shot there. So a screen for him here, not gonna use it. Wide open in the corner, that's money. Yep, like as you can see, his shot release is so slow, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is like in real life. So it's not that bad. So you wanna really be taking 
another steal. Um, but didn't, wasn't able to recover that one. He's going to make that, miss that, miss that. Pass it here. Another three. Bang. Like, as you can see, like, he's just a really, this is a great game so far. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of what you want to, shots that you want to take with him is like the drifting shots or you don't want to take stationary shots like that since his shot is really like that. And that's what you really want to be taking. Like what you see Dame players and Steph players take, that's what you want to do because like his shot release is so slow just um, standing still. You don't really want to do that. Steal another one. Um, drifting shot. Is that a three? Uh, two, a two, a two. But yeah, that's exactly what the type of stuff you want to do. Like, are we getting a lot of steals? Was that three steals so far? Like, no card. Gonna miss that one. That's good. Okay. okay, he's open. Not gonna take it. No steal. Wide open. Missed. Pass it here. Pass it here. Wide open in the corner. Okay, he makes that. Okay. Like, this is this has been a really good game so far. Like we're hitting shots, hitting a lot of threes, getting steals. Not so many assists though. I don't think we've gotten an assist yet, but you've seen what this character can do offensively. Missed that one. Took it. That's why I'm saying like you can't be um taking the shot standing still because it's so slow. Players can recover to it. So you want to be taking drifting shots. Locking up PG here. Not gonna make that one right here. Does he hit this one? Ah, uh, no. But that was a great game. We got MVP again. So what? Three out of the four games we got MVP. See, that's gonna be all for the video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Tyler, I think Tyrese Halliburton is a really good player. 16 points, four threes, three steals. Like this right here. Like I can get used to this. Um, I think players like him are going to eventually become more in the norm. But yeah, that's going to be all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.